Problem with immune health is the same as with longevity. There are mountains of misinformation out there, partial solutions to one component of the problem, as well as a plethora of scam products available today. But in this video, I'm going to reveal a cutting edge solution for immune health, which is not disadvantageous in the context of autoimmune diseases, and which will decrease your risk of infections, cancers, as well as be pro-anti-aging. This peptide product is called Thymosol by VitaStreams, and it is a peptide which is derived from the thymus gland. Now, I conducted my own research on three different peptide complexes from the thymus gland, including thymosol, thymolin, and vladinex, and what I figured out through mass spectrometry was shocking. Thymosol by VitaStream contains over 130 more peptides than vladinex, and this is why I classify it as a version 2 bioregulator peptide, and the best thymus-derived peptide complex which you can take orally since thymolin needs an injection. But first, what is the thymus gland? It is the central component of the immune system which creates naive T-cells which mature into T-lymphocytes, and without it you will die. We have seen in animal models where thymectomy has resulted in a very fast death of the animal and overall collapse of the immune system. But when a healthy thymus was implanted back into an older mice, it had a regenerative effect on the entire body, and the mice lived a much longer time than average. So. The thymus is a very important component of immune health and longevity, and I'm going to cover a little bit about it in this video. So, what we revealed from our mass spectrometry was that it contains a very high concentration of Vylon. This is a dipeptide which is involved in tissue repair, and in animal models, it's actually accelerated tissue repair and decreased necrosis following surgical wounds. And it's also protected against radiation damage, it boosts T lymphocytes, and it stimulates the transcription of two DNA repair genes called PARP1 and 2. And these are also downregulated by certain viruses, such as the COVID virus, by the way. And so, thymosol by VitaStream also contains a high concentration of Christogen. Christogen is a tripeptide which is quite unique in that it preferentially activates B cell development of the immune system. B cells are what helps your immune system respond to novel pathogens. So think COVID when it first appeared in 2019 and 2020. This is what will be like a first responder. And speaking of first responders, it also contains thymogen, which is the peptide which was used in the case of the Komsomolets nuclear submarine when it sank in the Norwegian Sea and left many sailors treading icy water. This peptide was used first in order to restore their immune function and reverse some of the damage that they had from hypothermia. However, I do want to warn you that thymogen is not the best peptide for oral bioavailability. You'll get some of it, but it's not absorbed very well, and you need it to be conjugated to a lipid nanoparticle for it to have the most beneficial effects there. This is also why I do not recommend you buy thymogen in a capsule form, including in the product called Thymogen Alpha 1. I kind of consider that to be a scam product because it just has base thymogen in it, combined with Vylon, which is good, of course, but it's not the best product, and I highly recommend that you get Thymosol by VitaStream. I've used this peptide complex in clients' programs, and even for my own mother, who has rheumatoid arthritis, and I used it as a part, uh, part of a bigger program, but it showed some pretty good results in her case in terms of reducing pain, uh, lowering rheumatoid factor, uh, lowering um, inflammation and CRP, and it's a very potent uh, anti-inflammatory peptide in my experience, much more so than Vladinex, and this is also true with the anecdotes which I've received. But there are some things which you should be aware of about thymosol and thymus peptides in general, and that is that you need to have the necessary cofactors in order for them to work properly, because these peptide complexes stimulate naive T-cell development. But naive T cells require PLC1 gamma in order to mature into T lymphocytes. And what is necessary for the increase in PLC gamma 1 is vitamin D, because these immune cells, these naive T cells, they have a receptor for vitamin D, and vitamin D is required to bind to that cell in order to increase PLC1 gamma expression much further, up to 75 times further, which is what matures the cell into a solid T lymphocyte. And this is why I have created what I call the Missing Link Complete Peptide Nutrition System. This covers what I call the Henry cofactors, which are required if you want to get the best possible results out of all of your peptides. You could check it in the link in the description, as well as Peptide Salvation.